Hello everyone, it's Celine here and today I'm going to show you guys how I transformed myself to Rosie the Riveteer during World War II because, you know, it's this time of feminism and I completely support it and so I thought why not do this fun and tutorial for you guys. So first off, I'm going to be taking this red pink bandana that my cousin Melissa gave to me so thank you Melissa for giving me this. I'm just going to be bobby pinning it back so it stays in place. Next, I'm going to be starting off with a foundation, and this is my Hello Flawless by Benefit foundation, and this is just to even my skin tone, and it is a little bit lighter than my skin tone because Rosie the Riveter in the posters had a lighter, fairer skin tone. Now I'm evening everything out using my beauty sponge as well as my Real Techniques blending brush for foundation. To give me that effortless looking glow, I'm going to be highlighting the key points of my face using this L'Oreal highlighting pen that I got from, I think, CVS. They have it at all drugstores, I'm pretty sure. And I'm just going to be blending it all using my Beauty Blender once again. And I wasn't content with the amount of highlights and glow that I got from the highlighter pen, so I'm taking this MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighting Powder and applying it to the same places where I applied the highlighter to just because I wanted to add a little bit more glow to my face. And then also, here's like a little tip. I like to press down on the brush and put it in like a fanning motion because I don't have a fan brush, so this kind of is my way of dealing with it. And then I'm going to be taking this NYX cream blush. I'm sorry, I don't really know the exact shade, but I'm pretty sure any cream blush or blush will do for that matter. And I'm just blending it all away with my fingers and then later a beauty blender sponge once again. Now back then, thin eyebrows were the biggest trend and so in that poster she did have thin eyebrows, however I don't really like plucking my eyebrows especially to the point that Rosie the Riveter had them in the poster. So I'm just going to be filling in my brows like I normally would if I were to do my brows and I'm just going to be using my Too Faced Natural Eye Palette as always to fill in my brows and then I'm going to be highlighting them using the big white color as you will see later on. Oh yes, to contour my face, I'm using the Too Faced Bronzer, and this is a Chocolate Soleil bronzer, and it smells like real chocolate because I think it has chocolate extracts in it. And again, I'm going to be taking that same fanning motion like I did before, making a really weird kissy face, and I'm just going to be applying it to my cheekbones, underneath them, and then also some on my forehead, just to again give some color, and then also on my neck just so it all blends out. Onto the eyes, I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden, and this is a matte white yellowy tone color, so this is really going to help stand out the white and the light pink that I'm going to be applying to my eyelid. And as you can see here, I'm just taking a flat shader brush and applying this to both of my eyelids. I'm not putting anything into the crease because she really did not have much eyeshadow on, but was more heavy eyeliner and false lashes. Now onto the big, bold eyeliner. I'm taking my Maybelline eyeliner that I have, and here's a tip. Start off with a really thin line, because once you apply the fake eyelashes, if you choose to do so, you're going to need to add more eyeliner on to make sure the false eyelashes don't have any weird glue showing up on your eye. So you'll see what I mean later. So then, make a thin line, and then later you can add more if you feel like you want to. So I'm taking my fake eyelashes, cutting them in half, and then applying them to the outer corners of my eye, and I'm going to be using this Revlon lash adhesive that I had laying around. So I wait for the glue to get a little bit tacky, however, I'm really impatient, so it took me a little bit of time to actually get them on my eyelid because as you can see here I'm kind of struggling but then later I got it all worked out and it all worked out fine in the end so that's all that matters and then again I'm going to be taking the eyeliner as you can see here and just putting it over any spots where I have glue visible. Now I'm going to be taking my favorite mascara at the moment this is Maybelline's The Rocket Mascara however if you don't have this mascara any mascara will do. So I'm going to be again taking that down and pressing down the eyelashes because they didn't really stick on that well but then later I got it to work so again all good here. Now onto one of the best parts of all besides the fake eyelashes in my opinion, it is the red lip. Although she did not have a complete bold red lip, I feel like that was a big trend during that time period. So I'm going to be lining my lips using my CoverGirl lip liner and then I'm going to be taking this soft matte lip cream in Amsterdam by NYX and I'm going to be applying this all over my lips and then I'm going to be taking this other lipstick because I felt like I wanted to add even more red and really fill in the entire lips and I'm going to be taking my Mirabella red lipstick. So really for this part, I'd not really do anything fancy, I just kind of line my lips and then fill them in with two different lip colors. And that is the finished makeup look, and the entire look for that matter. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, I had so much fun filming it, and 
The reason why I did this one is because on the 4th of July, I accidentally dressed like Rosie the Riveter, so I had the idea to completely go all out and recreate this makeup look for you guys, except in a more dramatic manner. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone!